Hi betting experts, on Tuesday the 28th of July we're off to glorious good with the start of a fantastic five days in Sussex. The ground pretty much perfect, the weather forecast, there is a bit of showers in it but basically later on in the week especially it looks going to be sunny and warm, things will dry out. There's no shame as to water the track this year which is a big help for punters. We know the ground conditions are going to be proper summer ground. We start off with our value angle selection in the opening 110, that is the British EBF Phillies handicap over a mile, class 3 for 3 year olds and upwards, 12 runners chasing £10,712 and I do think that Roger Varian's angel power will take an awful lot of beating under Sylvester D'Souza. Now this filly has run just three times in her career so far, well backed and making a promising start as a juvenile last back end at Newmarket finishing third behind ARS beaten just under five lengths she was then off for 219 days reappeared at Chelmsford relatively easy to back but ran out an impressive winner from perfect inch looking very fit there wearing a hood to get to the post uh, up with a strong pace throughout and asserting close home able to win ease down she was fairly strong in the market over a mile again on a handicap debut at Haydock and basically just got mugged up with a strong pace throughout in the lead of Furlong out but just done right on the line by straight of her moves. The front three were clear of the rest. She has gone up five pounds for that run but I think she will have learnt plenty for the experience. She's got lots of natural ability. This track should be ideal. A positive ride is on the cards and she should take an awful lot of beating. For our nap of the day, we go to the 2.15. This is the Verve Clico Vintage Stakes, a group two over seven furlongs. 10 runners, £28,000 on offer to the winner. And it looks an outstanding opportunity for the Royal Ascot winner Battleground to supplement that Chesham Stakes win. Now, this one is a typical Aidan O'Brien horse, improving dramatically run to run as he sharpens up. He was weak in the market, but showed plenty when fifth of 18 on his debut at Nace on the 8th of June and just 10 days later he was hammered down to 11 to 4 favourite before the Chesham well ridden by Ryan Moore in complete command entering the final furlong and storming clear for a very impressive win from March Law the ground was soft that day um, stamina is his strong point I think he'll do better on good ground and I'm expecting him to follow that up with ease the main danger could come from Dark Lion of Roger Varian who before he ran I was told was Varian's best two year old he didn't settle either at Newmarket or at Ascot when at fourth on each occasion he ran really well in the Coventry in fact and he duly landed the odds with uh, albeit only narrowly at Wolverhampton by a head but he's a lot better than that he's up back in class to a group two here if he settles which he probably will with a strong run race likely he could be the main danger but battleground for me sure to be powering home and it'll be disappointing if he can't land a short price best of luck on Tuesday betting experts